Now, news that works for you. This is WGXA Morning News. Well, we saw the uh, shamrock there on Stevens forecast. That must mean it's St. Patrick's Day, and we yes. are joined by Chef Jordan and Gail Tronco here this morning. Thanks for joining us, guys. You're talking to us about some Irish comfort foods today because it's St. Patty's Day. What do you have for us, <laughs> Chef Jordan? Uh, I got corned beef and hash sandwiches mm -hmm. with fresh cabbage. I got a uh, shepherd's pie and then a lamb stew and s some cupcakes. Very tasty. So, Gail, Irish food, comfort food, it goes hand in hand. How is this helping us out here as we get into spring and, you know, we're really trying to work off some of those calories? Everybody's trying to lose weight in the spring, but it's really healthy to step back and take a moment and enjoy a holiday. Mm -hmm. Comfort foods are a time for you to introduce tradition to your children, do a little genealogy, pull out great-great-grandma's recipe for Irish shepherd's yeah. pie. It's a time for you to start new family traditions so your children look forward to it every year. We always decorated cupcakes. When Jordan was younger in school, and I think he spent the better part of the afternoon yesterday decorating <laughs> these for our family at G WGX. Yes, yeah. and we're we happy to be a part of your always family. appreciate bringing cupcakes in. Yeah. Jordan, we mentioned your grandmother's recipe, your grandmother's recipe, your great-grandmother's yes. recipe for this shepherd's pie. How did you make this? I, you have a demonstration here for us. Yeah. You, if you had a close-up here, you'd notice that the pre-made shepherd's pie has a big bite out of it. <laughs> I can tell you personally, it's very good. What yeah. kind of meat did you use in this chef, Jordan? Uh, I used ground beef and uh, it's an ale-based, like, sauce. I just got, you know, carrots and onions and some tomato paste. And that's really it. And I cooked it down. And then I got garlic mashed potatoes that I'm going to put on top. Mm. Yeah. Make this all even. Yeah. So the crust was homemade. Yeah, He's layered homemade it with this. Crust. He's going to top it off with the Irish mashed potato, with the garlic mashed potatoes. How long do you bake it in the oven, Chef Jordan? Uh, 30 minutes, so like 400 degrees. And this is not crust on top of the finished one. It's just the mashed potatoes? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah right, With potatoes. that nice brown on it. And you actually use real lamb inside of your stew here. Yeah. How long does this take to kind of uh, make that was it like, perfect? It was about eight hours. Wow. Uh, yeah. So if you get started now, folks, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. put it in dinner. the crock pot, head to work, and you'll have some great <laughs> stew when you get home. It's now, lovely. as Rick mentioned before, this all goes well with a nice Guinness, right? Does oh, that yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you know? Yeah, you got to get that Guinness in there, or it's really not just a St. Patrick's Day meal, no matter how good it tastes. <laughs> so everybody's wow. out it's on St. Hey, Patrick's Day. I had Day. no Everybody. idea. <laughs> You wow. know, I do it once I get the hat on. It's hard not to be. Well, let's see if you know some of this because, Gail, you have some Irish trivia for us. Let's okay. see if Mr. Ireland there. Up to us for our Morris crew at WGXA. Our first trivia question What food is not served in Ireland on St. Patrick's Day? Snakes. <laughs> because why does he have to be snakes? He chased snakes out of Ireland. That's a good point. Yeah. Good point. Wrong. <laughs> Corn beef and cabbage. Oh. Corn beef and cabbage are only eaten by tourists in Ireland on St. Patrick's Day. They, they consider it a very bland food, very everyday. <laughs> Imagine that's that. funny. That's the only day Americans eat this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you go there, don't eat that on St. Patrick's you'll Day. You'll look like then a tourist. Go, yeah, you'll look like they a tourist. They will know you're a tourist. Okay. The second question, what U.S. city dies their river green on St. Patrick's Day? Huh. I know this just because yesterday we had a story where the White House dyed their fountain green and it said that the Obamas imported the tradition from Chicago. <laughs> Uh, Rick cheated. He watched the news on WTF. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is news that works for you guys. <laughs> yeah. And our it's third trivia good. question. Steve's probably going to know this answer. What is the occupation of a leprechaun? I believe it is a shoemaker. Oh, you got it yeah, right. You win the pot of gold. I believe you cheated, my friend. <laughs> You're acting like we already did this like an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> I have a list of celebrities. Tell me who's Irish. Is Chuck Norris Irish? If, if he, wants he wants to, to be, be. Yeah. <laughs> who's going to tell him no? Is Johnny Depp Irish? Yes. No, he's a pirate. Right. <laughs> Irish pirate. Oh. Is Christina Aguilera, is she Irish? She, are genies Irish? Because she's a genie <laughs> in a bottle. In a bottle. Uh -huh. Yeah. And Conan O'Brien, is he Irish? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I would yes. be shocked if he wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> They're not. all 
Irish. They're wow. all Irish. So they're all going to be celebrating today. Thank you guys for showing us this great food and talking to us about St. Patty's Day and all the celebrations. You guys doing something fun? We're going to celebrate St. Patrick's Day on our front porch with a barbecue. So happy about, happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody in the audience and okay. all our friends at WGX. You're not invited, <laughs> but happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Thank you guys. Well, we always appreciate you coming and feeding us, that's for sure. <laughs>